easiest equation you could probably have would be something like this. X minus 3 is equal to 9. How would you solve this equation? Remember, the goal is to get x by itself. You want him by himself. The only thing standing in your way is you have this minus 3 here. So what you want to do is you want to, because you have subtraction, addition is the opposite of subtraction. So you want to add 3 to both sides. The only thing different between this line and the previous line is I've added 3 here and I've added 3 here. The equation is the same, but I've added 3 to both sides, so I haven't really changed the equation. Although I've changed the way it looks, because negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so on the left I'll have x, on the right I will have 12. And that would be the answer. You have solved this equation. x is equal to 12. This could be the speed of a baseball. This could be, you know, how high up you must go in an elevator for something. This could be the temperature in a room. But you've solved for it by using the rules of algebra. Now, you can always check your work with equations because you get an answer. You can plug that answer right back into the equation. 12 is x, so we say 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 equals 9. That's good. That's our answer. So with simple equations like this, you might be able to guess the answer. You might be able to guess that 12 goes here. But don't guess. That doesn't do you any favors. If you start guessing is the wrong word, you might say, well, I know how to do that in my head. But that doesn't do you any favors because I guarantee you I'll get to an equation here in a minute you won't be able to do in your head. So if you start doing things in your head all the time, then you won't get any practice with, with really how you're supposed to think, which is logically moving everything. In this case, we move this negative 3 over to the other side. Let's do another similar one, you know, just to get some practice. What if I have um, n plus 6 is equal to 12? I have the same kind of thing. I've got n that I want to get by himself, but I've got the 6 in the way. So I rewrite the equation, except I subtract 6 from this side, and I subtract 6 from the other side. So this equation is the same as this one. The only reason I'm subtracting it like this is because this is going to make 0. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to have n is equal to 12 minus 6 is 6. And that is the answer. I've isolated the variable n. That's what I get on the right-hand side. Now I can check my work by sticking it in here. 6 plus 6 is 12, so I've got the right answer. And again, you could probably guess this, but that isn't doing you any favors if you just jump ahead like that. What if I have y minus 4 is equal to negative 2. I want to isolate y. So in order to get rid of this 4, I have to do the opposite. So I'm going to add 4. y minus 4 plus 4 is equal to negative 2 plus 4. This equation is exactly the same as this one. I'm just adding 4 to both sides because I'm going to make this go to 0. So I'm going to have x, uh, y by himself is equal to negative 2 plus 4 is going to give me positive 2. And that is the value of the answer. And you could again put it in here. 2 minus 4 gives me negative 2. So you can check your work with every equation that you, that you really do. So let's try a different kind. Then we've done addition and subtraction. What if we have 3 times x is equal to 9? Much like we've had addition and subtraction doing the opposite, here we have 3 times x. They're multiplied. So in order to get x by himself, we have to do the opposite. We have to do division. So let me rewrite the equation. I can divide both sides of this equation by 3. Why do I do that? It's because this, when I do it, the 3's are going to cancel out. So I'm going to have x is equal to 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. That is the answer. And you can check it by putting x back in here. 3 times 3 is 9. So you really just need to look and do the opposite of whatever it is you're trying, you know, whatever stands in your way, so to speak. So another example, if you had 6 times n is equal to 12, this is multiplication. The only way to get n by himself is to do the opposite, to do division. I'm going to divide by 6. Then I'm going to have these 6's cancel like that. So I'm going to have n is equal to 12 divided by 6, which gives me 2. And that's why we do the opposite, by the way. That's the only reason we do the opposite. It's because... We're trying to isolate the variable. 